Ehlers-Danlos syndrome is a condition that most doctors thought was extraordinarily rare. It's something that everybody learns a little bit about in med school and again it's, it's thought of as an oddity. Traditionally it's a thought of a condition where people's skin is very stretchy and so when you think of those people at the circus who are the rubber people, mm -hmm. they've, those people had uh, Ehlers-Danlos syndrome which that degree, that type of Ehlers-Danlos syndrome or EDS where the skin is super stretchy is very rare. But what's turned out to be the case is that there's something called hypermobile EDS. And that's turning out to be very common. Nobody's really sure of the, the exact prevalence. But uh, it turns out that these people have always been around and have just frequently been misdiagnosed and, and they remain often misdiagnosed. They're typically young when the symptoms start, uh, predominantly women, and they look okay. So you run tests, you examine them, if everything looks okay, but they don't feel okay, and they have a lot of problems. And, and like many conditions, there could be a spectrum of mild cases to very severe cases. They faint, they get lightheaded, their heart beats way too fast despite them not doing a lot of activity. They feel like their adrenaline is, is coursing through their system. They have gastrointestinal problems, stomach cramps, or even throwing up, uh, you know, nausea, vomiting, constipation. They have migraine headaches. They have neuropathies where they get numbness. Again, in recent years, uh, it just doctors started putting it together and recognizing these patterns and now uh, that's something that uh, is very gratifying to be able to recognize these patterns and sort of help bring explanations and, and, and even more so treatments to patients who previously were just sort of told they didn't make sense. That's a term that's getting used more and more a way to convey this idea that joints are more bendy or more flexible than they should be. People who have genetic conditions, born with conditions where their collagen isn't quite right, and it can cause skin to be stretchy, but also can cause joints to be hypermobile. So they move more than they should. So sometimes people will have joints that slide out of place, like their kneecap, they're just doing routine stuff, or even dislocate their kneecap, or dislocate their shoulder joint or the joints bend in ways that they sh really shouldn't. So they stand up and their knees hyperextend, their knees bend backwards, which can cause pain or even damage to the joints. They get uh, excessive wear and tear on their joints. They get early arthritis, they get pain. It, interestingly, one of the ways we start with is to ask individuals. So if you ask somebody, do you consider yourself to be double jointed? That's actually a pretty good marker if the answer is yes. And then we sort of broaden that and ask, you know, when you were younger, could you do tricks? So did, you know, a lot of these individuals know this at a young age that their joints do bend in ways that their peers and their friends don't. And it sort of freaks people out or amuses people if they can bend in certain ways. So we start by asking, you know, did you notice that you could bend in ways that other people couldn't? Did you have tricks and, and did your joints go out of place? Hypermobility is, is interesting because when people are young, it can actually be a good thing. Patients I see as young adults or older adults they were gymnasts, they were ice skaters, they were dancers, and they were very good at it. And this being flexible or even hypermobile was as an advantage to them. Unfortunately, you know, nobody viewed it as a potential problem down the road. And many of these sports that I mentioned can have a culture of sort of pushing through injuries. You've got this bad combination of abnormally mobile joints in people who are pushing through pain and pushing themselves to, to be their best. And so they're repetitively injuring their joints. And uh, again, when they're older and maybe not that much older, 20s, 30s, that, you know, then they're coming to the doctor and they're having uh, chronic joint pain. They've got arthritis already that's developed at, a, at an early age. <music>